Hi, and welcome to Enchantment of Eternity. Uh, this is Mark here to give a channel update for 2017, uh, what you might expect to find on the channel for the rest of the year. Hi, so first off, those of you who are familiar with my channel might know I have a new uh, uh, picture, a new image, a uh, screen image that I put at the start of my videos, and I'd first like to give a big shout out to Joseph Samuel. Uh, thank you so much for putting this together to me. I'm very excited to have this new picture, which I think is more of an update of what my channel is about, where has I try to focus a lot on Game of Thrones and Star Trek, but some of these other shows, such as Better Call Saul, Leftovers, and The Expanse as well. So it's great to have an image that reflects that. So let me first start by explaining how uh, what shows I review and how frequently I review them and uh, what sort of system I have for that. Because last year I found myself too overwhelmed with trying to do like five or six videos a week. And uh, so this year I really tried to cut back so I'm not so overwhelmed so I can focus on getting better quality videos out. So I decided to do a certain system with uh, shows that I review. So I decided to do it like in tiers. I'll call it a four tier system where tier with a first tier is the shows that I will review every single week, every single episode of that show. Uh, so I decided to limit myself to five of these uh, first tier shows. And so I chose five shows for 2017 that I will review every episode of, and they are Better Call Saul, The Leftovers, Game of Thrones, Mr. Robot, and Star Trek Discovery. So, uh, so those are the f only five shows that I will review every single episode of without fail. So then we get into my second tier uh, shows, and these are shows that I review almost every episode, practically every episode, but I skip out an episode here or there, depending on how my schedule is. Uh, and most of these shows I actually have already finished for the year, but these include shows like uh, Black Sails, The Expanse, and Vikings, although Vikings may return later in the year, and that will be another second tier show where I review every almost every episode but i don't feel obligated to do every episode like i do with the first tier shows and then we get into my third tier shows and these are shows which i'll review every like three or four weeks i'll maybe cover it a total of four or five times within the entire season uh and these are shows like the 100 uh dark matter and orphan black uh and then we get into my fourth tier shows and these are shows that I will only cover the entire season in one video after the season or half season is finished uh, and these include shows like The Walking Dead, Fear the Walking Dead and a lot of Netflix shows like House of Cards uh, Orange is the New Black uh, and Narcos and uh, Netflix, the Marvel Netflix shows like Iron Fist. However, I'm starting a new thing with a couple of Netflix shows where instead of doing reviews, I'll do thoughts on video, uh, which is a different thing I'm going to try. So when I typically do a review video, I like I write a script, I put a lot of thought into it, I edit the script, and then I you know record my audio, edit the audio, and then put in music and find a bunch of different pictures and match it up to what the audio is saying and this whole process takes me around I'd say four to ten hours depending on how long the video is for the longer videos it may even take longer than ten hours uh, so what I'm gonna do with the thoughts on it won't be a review like that it'll just be me sitting with the microphone for like five or ten minutes just spouting out at the top of my head with no script just some thoughts I have on the episode and, and instead of finding pictures I'll put like one picture maybe one piece of music uh, so it'll take me instead of taking me like four to ten hours it'll take me like 30 minutes <laughs> so that will allow me to sort of sneak these in without having the worry of it eating too much of my time and I'm going to do these for two Netflix shows uh, since eight uh, season two 
and The Defenders, Marvel's Defenders, which if you don't know, it's the Netflix version of The Avengers, where they get all the people who had their Netflix shows and put them together in one show, and I'm really eager for that. And plus, Sense8 has always been a favorite show of mine. I've been waiting a long time for season two. So what I'll do is, these are Netflix shows, so that the whole season will come out at once. So as I watch each episode, I will make a thoughts on video before I watch the next episode. So just real quick, just spewing out some of my thoughts, uh, which will only take me 20 minutes at best, and before watching the next episode. So I'll do those for those two shows. Now, also, of course, a lot of you who are subscribed to my channel are subscribed for my Game of Thrones content, and I definitely will not shy on that uh, this year. I had finished doing a Season 7 prediction series earlier this year that you can still check out on my channel uh, if you haven't checked out already. Uh, at the moment, I'm not doing too much in Game of Thrones department because I'm a bit busy with two first-tier shows that are on at the same time, Better Call Saul and The Leftovers, but I will try to sneak in some uh, Game of Thrones analysis and theory videos here and there. But once The Leftovers and Better Call Saul finish, uh, I will do get back to doing weekly Game of Thrones videos. And then once uh, season, season seven starts, I will be doing uh, three videos for each episode. I will be doing my uh, review video, which I will try to get out as soon as I can after the episode airs. And then I will be doing a discussion video with Atkin Tomko, uh, as we always do every year. And we'll alternate uh, each, every week. One week will be on my channel and the other week will be on his channel. Uh, but either way, that will be weekly. And also I'm adding a third video, which I will do towards the end of the week where I will do, I'll call it a deeper analysis of a Game of Thrones episode where I will take, you know, after I had some time to think about the episode and hear what a lot of other people were saying it, I'll come back to the episode and give a deeper analysis and perhaps get into some of my predictions that I made previous and make some new ones for the rest of the season. Uh, so you can look forward to those three videos a week on season seven of Game of Thrones. And of course, once season seven finished, I'll continue with my uh, analysis and theory videos. And then later in the year, perhaps get into some season eight predictions. And for you Star Trek fans out there, people who are subscribed to my channel for Star Trek content, uh, it's similar to Game of Thrones, where at the moment I'm busy with The Leftovers and Better Call Saul, so I haven't been able to put out that much Star Trek content, but again, I'll try to sneak some out there here and there. But a big announcement, uh, once Better Call Saul and The Leftovers finish, I will get back to doing uh taking episode review requests because i used to do episode reviews but i had to put that on hold at the beginning of the year because i got overwhelmed with too many episode reviews and i was trying to cut, cut back on the content i was doing so uh sometime in june i think is when uh better call saul finishes I will make an announcement where I will resume taking episode reviews. However, don't put your episode requests in uh, too early. Don't put them in right now because I will still not take them. Like during this break, I received like four or five of them and I'm very, you know, some of them were good episodes I wanted to talk about, but frankly, I just had to ignore them because I have to be on break because I don't want to have these videos lingering over my head. So if I'm on break, it's a full break. But when I make my announcement in June, uh, you can make your requests. Uh, even if you know if you did request something during this break, you can make it again, and I'll get to it then. But please stick with the rule, where it's one episode uh, review request per person. I think a couple of you tried to had sneaked in the second ones without me noticing. I'll try to be more vigilant about this because I don't want to get overwhelmed with too many episode requests because then I'll have to put it on hold again if that happens. Uh, because yeah it's, I have a life to live <laughs> uh, cool so and also another feature of the channel which I had started again uh, last which started started last week uh, is my quick reviews now these are very short I try to keep them between six and seven minutes although a couple of them went from like eight to nine minutes but I'll try to 
stay away from that. <laughs> Try to keep it to six to seven minutes of videos reviewing a show that's currently airing, usually currently airing. If not, it's currently airing, then it's somewhat recent. But typically a show that uh, I haven't reviewed before, that I'm just checking out for the first time, I'm binge watching on Netflix or some other subscription service that I have, and I'll make a quick spoiler-free review uh, telling you whether or not you should watch the show. Uh, so I'm going to, for the moment, I will we'll be doing this weekly. I started my first one last week with The Night Of, and I'll continue on with my next one this week with 13 Reasons Why. And uh, every I hope to do this every week for like the next three or four months because I have like 16 shows lined up, which I'm just plowing through. <laughs> Even if I don't like them, I've, I'm going to watch the, you know, all up until the recent episode uh, so I can give my full opinion on what I thought of the show and whether or not you should like it, uh, watch it. And uh, yeah, so it'll be kept to under six, seven minutes to keep it nice, short, and uh, concise uh, so you can check it out. Um, cool. So that's what's going on with Enchantment of Eternity. And of course, I will be doing random discussion videos with other YouTubers here and there as the year goes. So please thank you all for subscribing and I will see you in the next video. Take care.